uncanny resemblance, miniature pinchers are not miniature versions of the Doberman pincher. They look like Doberman pinchers, but they're not. They're a breed of their own. In fact, the Min Pin breed arrived on the scene about a hundred years before the Doberman ever existed. You'll immediately recognize this lively breed by its high-stepping, prancy gait, often compared to a Hackney Ponies. I think they're little athletes, personally. You know, they need lots of exercise, lots of running around. It would surprise you how playful these dogs are. Here comes Oscar, here comes Rita. Whether red, black and rust, or chocolate and rust, the miniature pincher has poise. And what the breed standard calls fearless animation. Personality-wise, they're pretty tough little dogs. <laughs> Usually weighing between 5 and 10 pounds, the miniature pincher is classified as a toy dog. And because of his small yet regal bearing, he's described as the king of toys. The ears are sometimes cropped or kept natural, but the tail has been traditionally docked. His compact cat-like feet allow the min pin to travel quickly and gracefully. Originally used for hunting small vermin, this tiny pincher has some terrier in his blood. A descendant of the German pincher, the Min Pin got his start in Europe, where he was called Zwerg Pincher, or Dwarf Fighter. His dexterity and small size were inherited from the Italian Greyhound and the Dachshund. But it's his terrier and Dachshund roots that drive him to burrow making for some endearing and amusing moments at home. Jack, you want treats? <laughs> Willing and able to take on any task, the miniature pincher benefits from an understanding hand during training. I think they need an owner who has patience. They are trainable, but they need a little bit of care and attention. Their small bones tend to be brittle, so special care must be taken to ensure these little dogs don't break their wrists jumping off the couch at home. While small and great for apartments, the Min Pin is a very active dog and needs ample exercise. <laughs> Just remember, they're not tiny lap dogs. They are tenacious. Their short coats and small size make grooming the easiest among all the pinchers. They're small, require minimal expense and upkeep. As a family dog, the Min Pin must be socialized early with children. But on the whole, they can get along with everyone. While all miniature pinchers have their own unique personalities, there are some universal truths to this dynamic breed. For environment, keep this dog busy and he'll love living in an apartment. Health-wise, the miniature pincher will live long, but he's got brittle bones and likes to overeat. Grooming the miniature pincher couldn't be easier, but training can be tough unless you demonstrate your authority early on. And as a family dog, the Min Pin gets along with just about everyone, making him a breed that's tough, loyal, playful, and above all, cute.